Hello everybody, I'd like to talk about the boat that is currently available for sale on Boat Trader. This boat is a 1993 Hydrotech uh, 30 feet. It is very unique and very reliable boat. A little bit about the history. This boat was uh, created in 1993 by a company from New Jersey uh, named Hydrotech. This company had a contract with uh, US Coast Guard to create very reliable dependable boat that could be fast used in any weather condition and safe and this is the creation called hydrotech 30 it is a racing catamaran hull powered by uh, two suzuki's 200s which by the way were upgraded just last year so this boat received two new suzuki 200 horsepower engines with a full warranty for another four years. Every aspect on this boat was upgraded. It's basically, we started with just a hole and every part on this boat was professionally installed with brand new components. And there are a lot of them. So I'll try just to cover some of them. We're gonna start with the bow. Here you can see it's a brand new uh, Maxwell um, windlass with a 316 uh, chain attached to the Mantus anchor and, uh, and the Mantus leader. There are controls right here for the windlass up and down as well as the remote control inside, it's inside the cabin. Um, the entire bow was just recently painted with uh, old grip uh, non-skid paint as you can see here. Uh, new uh, cleats, uh, new rods holders right here. Uh, two new hatches, very sturdy. Um, access for for the winch, all 300, uh, 316 uh, stainless steel marine grade. But now let's look at the cockpit. So when I got this boat, one of the problems on stormy days, some water was getting in into the cabin, created some uncomfortable uh, conditions, right? So. Um, I was thinking what, what we can do about it. And uh, we had a custom-made enclosure made of tempered glass. You have the openings here. We have a windshield wiper right in the middle. And now you, you're completely protected from any elements. This boat could be, if you catch in the rain or some stormy weather, you are well protected inside the cabin. We did install the marine grade Aurora LED light. See how huge it is. So you can be comfortably docking in any uh, condition. We took this boat several times to Bahamas. It only takes an hour and a half to get there. And if, you, if you're coming back and it's getting a little dark, you have a very good lighting system here. Okay, um, where I'm standing, there is a cabin with, the, uh, with a new hatch installed as well, as well as Marinko uh, active um, vent. So you have uh, some air circulation inside the cabin. Okay, uh, so let's talk about the external holes and the wrap. When I received the boat, it had a, a kind of an older type of gel coat. I do like three wraps on the boat because it's very easy to maintain. Unlike a uh, gel coat that needs to be polished every two or three months, which is a lengthy, time-consuming process, or if you hire someone, it's pretty costly. Unlike 3M wraps, uh, usually last up to five years if they're properly maintained, and there's nothing needs to be done for, for them. You uh, basically apply some UV protectors, like uh, 505, uh, solution takes you uh, literally uh, 10 minutes to treat the entire boat and your boat is completely protected. So, uh, we applied a 3M um, uh, wrap, red and gray colors, and it's kind of matching the non-skid uh, all grip uh, paint all, all around the boat. But, in addition to that, I was thinking, what can I do to protect it from scratches? So what I did, and it was a very efficient, a little bit costly process, but I purchased what they call a 3M Scotch Guard. This is uh, a polyurethane uh, film that is actually used on cars, on, for example, on uh, car uh, hoods to protect it against rocks. It's very, very uh, sturdy. It's very difficult to scratch. And it's a perfect 
protection. So this is how a cabin is uh, protected. There are doors on both sides and they can be locked from inside. So when I close the door, you have this entire area completely protected from any elements. We took this boat to Bahamas and sometimes have unexpected uh, pouring rain and we had five, six people here inside the cabin being completely uh, comfortable and protected from wind and the rain. So let's talk about the hull. The hull is the catamaran. It made to be very, very strong. Again, it was made for specifications of US Navy. So this boat had to endure a lot it, it, the hull was tested multiple times before uh, HydroTech actually got the contract with uh, US Coast Guard to produce those boats. Only 10 of these boats were produced. Right now we have, I think, four or five uh, still, um, uh, still in use. And this boat in particular is basically like you buy a new boat because everything, all electronics, everything is updated here just like a 2021 boat. So let's look inside and let's talk about uh, cabin and the cockpit. So let's talk about cockpit now. We'll start with electronics. And because this is something that is very unique. This boat is equipped uh, like very expensive vessels. So let's start with, uh, with the dashboard. The dashboard, both made of carbon fiber, was custom made. And every single piece of electronic here is a new one. Uh, start with engines. As already mentioned, uh, we have uh, two new 200 horsepower Suzuki's with four years of um, uh, manufacture warranty left. There are only 300 hours on these uh, engines. They were serviced exactly at the required periods and they're in perfect working condition. Uh, this boat is ready to be used uh, from uh, day one. Uh, Raymarine. MFD multifunctional display was upgraded with the remote right here so you can instead of using the touch interface you can control it very efficiently just with the remote right here. The MFD uh, or multifunctional display connected to the rest through the networking um, such as uh, engine data is being delivered to a multifunctional display for NEMA 2000 connection. You have an additional display that shows your engine data, such as trim level, battery charge, uh, uh, fuel tanks uh, uh, on the additional display right here. So there's an additional VDO uh, display that shows both engines, outboard um, engine uh, data right here. And you can see fuel tank, temperature, battery charge and the trim level. We have a set of analog uh, displays as a backup just in case. Right here is a remote for the fusion system. Uh, here's both Suzuki interface, uh, shows the RPM, uh, trim level, nautical miles per gallon and, uh, and the speed. We have brand new Raymarine autopilot that can be controlled through the interface or you can control it through your um, multifunctional uh, display. And it's a perfect uh, solution as if, if you go to for a little longer trip, say to Bahamas, um, you set up uh, your points and your boat will drive you there. If you have a, a good conditions, you can semi-relax, just watch around so you don't have to spend two hours uh, steering the boat. Uh, regarding the steering, as you can hear the sound, the board, I actually upgraded it to power steering. There is a um, Raymarine uh, power steering and it's, look, I can, I can actually steer the boat with my just one finger. And if someone drove the boat without power steering with twin engines, you know what you're talking about. And that's a, it, it makes a huge difference, especially on the long distances because you, you, don't, you don't have to have a big muscles to, uh, to turn the wheel here, okay? So um, every um, uh, aspect of the boat control through switches, but it's not only switches, it, uh, it has uh, resettable fuses. So if something happens electronically, you're gonna see here, okay? You can control your VHF. There are uh, uh, three total of these panels. 
uh, with Simrad VHF with AIS system. So this boat, you can see any, any vessel in the surrounding 20 miles is gonna show up on your, um, on your A Marine. Like for example now, you can see everything, all these boats in the surrounding area. For example here, I can read their names, where they're located, if they're moving, you can see uh, what direction the vessel is moving through AS system and so on. So, um, Fusion, this is well um, updated version. You have a full stereo with wet sounds speakers right here. And you have another set of speakers on each side of this uh, center uh, console. You have a Fusion subwoofer right here here in between and you have two more speakers in the back so there are a total of eight speakers and the amplifier inside the console so the sound is uh, amazing okay here we have a fly by wire control um, for uh, new Suzuki engines and it's very nice to use because it's all electronic there are no cables and you can easy precisely monitor them you can trim them very easily from here okay and that's how you start the engine on the left side i have a remote control for the windlass you can drop your anchor anywhere the windlass is automatic that means you can uh, once you start the motion it will drop the anchor all the way down to the bottom and then you, you need to bring it up a little bit to uh, uh, secure the chain or the rope. Okay, right here we have a system of LED lighting and you can change it to any color you want. Okay, and there are four of them um, in each, um, each corner of the boat. So we ran uh, this wiring uh, throughout. Okay, um, the steering is C star and was upgraded this year in 2022 so it's a brand new and you can tilt adjust to any direction you want uh, upholstery was upgraded as well in uh, 2021 uh, all the side side panels uh, seats here we have a little um, uh, step so you can when you um, underway you can either sit or you can stand the way you like and you can steer the boat easily this way and you can see it with the power steering it's just so easy as we go to the stern portion of the boat uh, we have yeti uh, cooler here a big capacity so you can bring a lot of uh, supplies here and this is something um, uh, something pretty unique those are custom made uh, seats that if you don't need them you can fold it easily right here there are only two uh, support legs and they fold completely okay so you can have more space if necessary and I usually keep my fenders over there so right now I have a fender so it doesn't let uh, to, to unfold all, all the way but if I remove the fender from here so this seat Folds completely out of the way. Seat can be either folded, unfolded, based on requirement. And you can sit at least five people. One, two, three, four, five people right here. Okay, we have, we created a little seat uh, right over um, Yeti cooler. And the same thing happens here. I can I can fold it if necessary. So next there is a table here. Okay, and the table is uh, pretty smart uh, when it's folded you have the entire space in the cockpit to unfold I just bring it up and here you have the entire table you can have a bottle of wine lunch dinner you can you can hop the islands and you can have your food right here you can pull it have lunch and go straight in it uh, and if you can look below 
but it's actually the original. This is the storage area, another storage area in the back where you can have your utensils, uh, some supplies, and so on, right in that center console. So to fold it, all I have to do is just to bring it down, just like that. I love diving. I have an advanced uh, certification in diving and I, um, I also use rebreather. And for me, it was a little bit challenging because um, the area here is not flat. It's actually angled. So to get in and out, uh, especially with diving equipment, was a little bit of challenging. So what we did, I uh, designed the swimming platform so with uh, some handles and the leather, which is flat completely. You lower in your leather down and you get very easy to get in and out with diving equipment. So you basically, you hold it here and you step in right back into the cockpit. Uh, two engines, they were serviced uh, just two weeks ago. Original Suzuki uh, serviced by outboard uh, specialties so they're all ready to go here. Okay, this is something I wanted to utilize the space. You have your sideboards with the new upholstery right here. But look at this. Here you have a complete bench folded and all I have to do just to put this and you have another <coughs> area for family, friends to sit. So you have five people sitting here, you open the table and you have at least another two person. And I have this uh, folding benches on both sides of the boat. Or you can even, you can have a little extension and even sleep two person here with the protection uh, of the roof. And we have this canvas, right? And, and it's actually, it's not just the sun, uh, protection but made of uh, a marine uh, grade fabric that holds uh, and uh, deflects all the water so when it's raining this entire area is is protected you can see I'm gonna fold it again and to bring it down I have to just move this two legs and it's completely out of the way and I give you another protection and you still have, if you look here, have holders for your lines or fishing gear right in here. This is the, uh, the part was left from, uh, from the original boat and it has uh, places to store your gear. And the same on the other side, you have a storage area right here on the top. Another storage right here. Okay, so here, uh, this is the area that's completely protected, as I said. If you need more ventilation, you have your windows opening right here. Okay. And um, it's completely seals everything. Um, you have a wiper that can be controlled for here. So it really it makes a big difference if it's raining with the visibility. And um, to say a number one upgrade that the most satisfactory to me it was this cabin enclosure it was also for my wife because she was always complaining every time we get water splashed it was a two hours of uh, of uh, angry response okay um, so if you do if you don't like it for yourself do it for your women okay so um, when we close here those latches are inside, uh, uh, getting close that. And I was actually thinking one of the projects is to complete uh, the full enclosure right here on the side and in the back. So now let's take a look inside the cabin uh, to the list of the upgrades that I have with the boat. So when I got this boat, this cabin was a disaster. Why? Because everything was looking really bad. There's nothing sitting here just a little bunk um, and this is one of the first projects that I took care of okay I wanted to create something that can allow you to stay if you island hopping maybe one overnight something that you can be 
comfortably sleeping couple people. And I think we achieved that. So we created the Marine Great uh, mattress right here in the middle. It's a brand new. This whole upholstery, the entire boat was changed, right? It was everything painted. I installed another carbon fiber cover here and you can have some storage space. If you look over there, I installed a marine toilet right here. So you can, you know, have a normal, relatively normal experience here. Uh, you do have a shore power on the boat. So if you are docking at the, one well, of the marinas in Bahamas, you plug in your shore power and you can power the AC. You can power it for, I think, 12 to 14 hours easily just using your boat batteries. And here's the control for your air conditioner. You have more storage area right there. You have your windlass, the chain, the rod, and there's a plenty of storage. So uh, we, we traveled uh, five to six people to Bahamas and we were able to bring in all the necessities with us and there was enough space here you know something you can put in the cabin something you, you can put in the frontal area and there's a, there's a um, middle storage area and there's area in each ama or each side of the catamaran marine gray uh, fence the flooring the marine flooring is right here you have an access hatch also stainless steel uh, for the depth meter also a uh, brand new one. You do have a uh, AC receptacle once you're on shore power. Oh, by the way, this boat has an inverter. So you can have up to 3000 watts equipment running through your batteries uh, with the inverter. Okay, so to summarize, this is very, very capable and very unique boat. Has a, one of the strongest holes you can get because it was made for US Navy, US Coast Guard standards. That's the reason why I got this boat. And I pretty much brought this boat to today's sophistication with uh, all the equipment needed to safely navigate in Bahamas, in the surrounding areas. It is very safe, very protected. It's, it is fast. One of the things I wanted to mention, this boat you can get up to 2.5 miles per gallon. And you can travel up to 55 miles per hour. The hull is very efficient. It's very easy to, to bring on plane. It only takes 14 knots to 15 knots and you're already playing in the boat. Once it's on plane, it's very efficient. It has 200 gallons. So theoretically, uh, there's two aluminum uh, tanks with 200 gallons of uh, fuel. So theoretically, you can travel up to 450 miles on just one charge. So it is enough to go to Bahamas, stay there for some time uh, and then drive back without refueling, which is very expensive in Bahamas. It's much cheaper here. And definitely you can do it with this boat. It will save you a lot of money because most of the boats will operate about 1.5 miles per gallon. If you can get 2.5 miles per gallon, it's almost double the efficiency uh, using the twin motors. And it's uh, thanks to this advanced, very light, and very strong catamaran hull. So with any questions, um, reach out uh, to me. One of the bonus, we do have a 10,000 uh, pounds boat lift that if you purchase the boat, you're welcome to have it. This is probably five to six thousand dollars that you can save if you if you're planning to keep the boat on the lift, right? So boat lift is free. And um, this boat was always kept outside the water. It comes with the trailer. It is in pretty good shape. A new axles installed uh, um, uh, last year in 2021. Uh, new brakes were installed uh, as well. It has Kodiak stainless steel uh, brakes, and this is a legal uh, boat to to be towed anywhere, and it, it's it is light. Uh, the boat it's probably uh, five to six thousand pounds with fuel in it. So again, any questions, uh, reach out to me, and I'm sure you're gonna love this boat. It is very unique and the reason why, why I'm selling, I'm, I'm buying a much bigger boat and it's time to go for this one. But I'm sure whoever gets it will appreciate everything that was done on, on this boat. There is nothing really close that you, you can find.